Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything and say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are back in Scum and we are going to take a look at the latest update that came to the game earlier today. Now one of the biggest additions that came with this new update is the armor for the pickup trucks. Alright, so we now have armor for the pickup trucks. We actually have light armor on the left here and then heavy armor on the right. And we can of course just install it without any sort of... Without any sort of problems, we don't need any toolboxes or any car repair kits or anything like that. So we can just pick them up and install them on the truck. Now, here's the thing. It says that the, the heavy armor is actually going to impact the handling of the car. So we're going to jump in and we're going to see if it's going to handle, uh, you know, a bit worse than before. So this is all the heavy armor on the doors, on the wheels, on the trunk, on the back, back window there as well. Oh, also the zoom in. The zoom in has been changed up a little bit. It was a lot more sudden and now it's kind of it's smoother. Nice. I like it. Right, so we got all this armor and I think I have I have basic driving on this character. So let's see how terrible is my driving going to be. Let's hop in. And let's see here. If it's normal, I would say. Pretty normal, it's pretty normal. I like that the back wheel and the front wheel armor are, are different, look at that. The back and the front is, uh, is very different. Hold on, let's jump in the, in the light armor as well for a quick second. Oh, look at the smiley face. Let's see, does this handle better? I don't think so. It feels kind of normal on basic driving. Nah, it's basically the same. It feels the same to me. It may be a bit different, but to me it feels about the same. Alright, now this new update has also brought some changes to the Binox. So in the past we could only see like this with them, but now we can zoom in a little bit. So they're, uh, they are a bit more useful. Alright, now another new addition that this update has brought to the game is raid protection. So server owners will now be able to turn on the raid protection or just leave it off. So if they turn it on, they can have some different settings. For example, they can do offline. So the raid protection will be active after all the members of the squad are offline. So if somebody builds a base and then they go offline, whenever they are offline, nobody's gonna be able to raid their base. And then there's this thing called flag specific as well, which it says here that this uh, raid protection will be active when the squad decides to activate it on the flag. So they go over to their flag and they decide if they want it on or off. And there's this thing called squad probation as well now. So it seems like whenever we're going to leave a squad, there's going to be a penalty. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. What if somebody kicks us out of a squad? Are we still going to be penalized? I don't know. We're going to have to see and wait here. But it says here that there is a money penalty and then there's also a fame point penalty. And of course, we have tons of bug fixes and quality of life additions. But yeah, that's about it for the update. Do please let me know down below what you guys think about all of these things. And thank you so much for taking the time to check out the update with me today. And I'll see you in the next one with some more video games.